This is video four of how to create digital art using ArtRage 2.5. In this video, we're going to talk about the layer panel and really why I think that digital art is so great. One of the reasons is because of the layer panel. Now you're in the first layer and let's paint a stroke. Now, if I painted another stroke over this, it would run into it. But if I add a layer, change the color, and go over it, it doesn't. And that's exciting, and I'll show you why later. And the neat thing about this layer panel is if you click on the side arrow, you can give your layer a name. You can change the opacity to anything you want. You can have your blend modes, you can delete layer, you can clear your layer, you can duplicate your layer, you can export a layer, you can transform a layer, you can make a stencil from this layer, you can merge with the layer below, you can merge all layers, you can close the layer group, and you can edit your paper settings. For instance, if I click it, then you'll see down here, I can change my grain, my roughness, my scale, my opacity, my, whether it looks like metal or not, and the color. Up here, I can choose what kind of canvas I want or paper. Let's make it heavy crumpled. We'll change the roughness to a little less, the grain, the opacity, and the color. Let's change it to that. Click OK. Click OK again. And it's now your background layer. So that means that you don't need to paint the layer. You can choose whatever color you want. Now let's get rid of this, and I want to show you why it's really neat. I'm going to do File, Open a Painting. I'm not going to save this because it was just a test. Say No. I'm going to click on this Arch Painting. And this is one I did for a class I was in. As you can see, I have many, many layers. And if I click on the eye, that means it won't be seen. It gets rid of it. It'll come back. If I click on this, the Buddha goes away and I can put anything else I want in here. If I wanted flowers or apples or fruit bowl, I could put it in here and not have to redo my painting. Sometimes when you're painting by hand, you can get almost done with your painting and think, geez, I would really like to change the background color or do something different. Well, by having layers, you can. You can get rid of, for instance, I can take off this color and have a different color. I can do any number of things. The beauty of layers is if you want to put something over another one, you can. And if you don't like it, you can just delete it. Or you can move your layers. In this case, uh-uh. So I bring it back down, and there it's back to where it was. That's the beauty of layers because I can make something like this arch and put anything I want. If I wanted to have it look out into a landscape, I could. Now up here, I can find the selected layer. Say you have a bunch of them and you're somewhere else, you can just click and it'll go to the one it is. I can add a new group, I can add a layer, and I can merge all layers. If I merged all layers, 
it will do the thing and it'll become all one. And if I don't like that, I can do edit, undo, and all my layers will come back. So as you can see, the layer part of the panel in digital art is absolutely exceptional. And I love the ease that ArtRage has made adding layers. Click one, you add it. Wherever your selected one is, if you add a layer, it goes above it. It's so fantastic. Most programs don't have this. You can make layers, but it's not as easy. They don't give you the things that make it just easy to work and saves you time. And that's it for the layers. Next, we're going to talk about the toolbox.